Hey folks, I looked back through my videos and I discovered it was August 10th of 2019 when I started showing my up-to-date videos. So my current marker is at March 31st, so I have a fair amount of comment, comment of content that I haven't shown yet. So I need to, I got lots available. So on it, this particular day, March 31st, and we had a crap load of rain and it cooled off and the rain turned into snow <coughs> so currently the river's flooded again and the power is off so i wasn't able to get my timmies So I'm just kind of cruising around checking out the flooding. And I mentioned that I had proof that it wasn't the river that was flooding the construction area. And apparently this is the video that's got that proof. So you can see the river is at a lower, a lower altitude than the water inside the area. So, yeah, like I mentioned before, there's, there's no breaches in the wall. So the river never came in. So it's just drainage. It's collecting in there. So they need to breach the wall now just to get the water out. <laughs> And they had this big diesel pump there that they they started pumping the water out but they just kind of left it and it froze and well it looks brand new but it's it got damaged it don't work no more so i'm not exactly what sure exactly how they're gonna get the water out but uh at this point there's there's no point in really trying to get it out because there's just gonna be more coming in until they're ready to get things going again so this particular video I'm going to be showing some work that I'm doing on the monster and I need to show this first because currently uh, jumping ahead to the current time in 2020 you know, I'm going to be referring to that and I discovered a few videos ago that I haven't actually shown this yet so <laughs> that's the work that I'm doing today I'll be doing some work on the monster it's pretty muddy right now but I'm going to be doing some work on the front end. Now, first thing I need to say is the foamy fell off my microphone, so hopefully you don't get too much scuffling noise. I'm going to like that. So what I'm going to be doing is the plug back here that melted is part of the charging circuit. And there's too much current going through it, so it kind of melted the plug. Now my impression was when the frame broke everything just kind of shifted a little bit and I was thinking that there was pressure tension on the plug and it just kind of pulled to the side or whatever and caused some arcing which was what overheated it which is it's still a possibility but according to the dealer 
that melting plug is a common issue with all of Hartway scooters, not just the Monster. And it has since been fixed on more recent models. So, it's not like a recall or anything. I can't get it, have it sent in to get fixed. So I gotta do it myself to prevent that from overheating again. So, I don't remember what the wattage is now. According to the Monster's charger, it's 5 amps. And my ES950 charger is also 5 amps. I'm not 100% trusting the Monster's charger right now because it doesn't work half the time. But I'm pretty sure that's just because of the cold. It doesn't like to work in the cold at all. So I'm using the ES950's charger. But I figured it out. The 5 amps at... 24 volts. I don't remember what the wattage was. I think it was 120 watts, but I'm not entirely sure. So just to be safe, I'm going with 200 watts. Now what I'm going to do to lower the charging current, I'm going to put a resistor in line. And I, I'm not going to go really high on the resistance. Uh, I'm only going to do 100 watts, but that, you know, that's still going to lower the current a little bit. But I went with 200 watts, and... <laughs> A 200 watt resistor, yeah, 100 ohms, looks like this. I was picturing it like 6 inches long or whatever, and I couldn't figure out why it was $20. Well, here we go. It's about a foot long. <laughs> so i got to try to find a spot for it up in there. Right, we'll kind of see what happens. But it's a nice day today. It's like 14, 15 degrees out Celsius. And I just... I got so much I want to do to the monster, stuff that still needs to be fixed, nothing important or anything, it's functioning fine, I've been using it for a while now, I haven't had any issues, I have a sticky hinge in the front suspension somewhere, it creaks and it clunks, but you know, this, as far as operating, it's just not a problem, not an issue. So while I have the front end apart, I am going to be replacing this cheap switch uh, it's supposed to be waterproof but if you remember my monster in its natural habitat series and I was driving in the rain the overhead light was sort of kind of partially on and the only thing that was really exposed to the moisture or the rain is this stupid switch plus when I turn it on it doesn't always come on right away of course this time it does but there. I have to sometimes play with it to get it to stay on, so I'm going to replace that switch. And I'm trying not to jar the, the cord here on the camera, because I know that interferes with the audio. So I'm trying to be conscious of that. But I have this switch here, and another handlebar switch. It'll go in its place, and it's still easy to turn on and off with, you know, when I'm holding the copy. Oh, my back is so sore right now. Because when I know if I'm encountering somebody, a car coming towards me or somebody walking or whatever, I'll turn the light off. And I just hit the off switch. I hit the off part of the switch to turn the light off. And I don't have to slow down or stop. I don't have to switch hands with the copy or whatever. I can do it with a copy in my hand, just with the bottom of my knuckle. And the nice thing about these switches is they're a little stiff to turn on but they're really easy to turn off, so I didn't know that when I bought them. <laughs> so that's kind of a plus. I can still turn it off with, off with my knuckles or whatever this, this part of my hand is called. I don't know. So there's those two things, and I do have two of them. I'm putting a second one on. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to use it for yet, but no. there's that. And I've got these signal lights that you saw me working on. I'm going to be putting them in here and the only way I can get them to point straight forward is to mount them in this area somewhere. I was hoping I could hide the back end of it with these brake guards. I'm not exactly sure what they'd be called but for the models that have the handbrake on them these are just kind of guards for that. So I was hoping to hide back in there but this part sticking out just isn't long enough and it'll be hidden behind so I'm just going to put it below it somewhere in there and anyway, they're, they're both pointing straight forward 
Because anywhere else I mount it on here, it's going to be pointing on an angle, and I want them straight forward. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be drilling holes in here. i got to see what it looks like on the inside to find out exactly where along here I'll be putting them. But I'm going to be doing that. And actually, the reason I'm doing this is because when you look at, when you look at the monster from the front, the basket kind of hides most of them. And it looks fine from here, but you know, when you look straight on it, you know, it's just the basket's kind of blocking it. And if I have anything in here, it blocks them even more. So that's why I'm putting these on. And I've already showed you the work doing this. This is kind of in vain, because I have to cut this off again. Because this part here will not fit through the whole <laughs> mounting hole. I kind of thought about that after I finished the first one. That's why I never did anything with the second one. So that's the other project I'm doing. And one more thing that I'll probably get to today, depending on how much energy I got left, how sore my back is, because it's just killing me right now. The chair I have at my computer is broken, and it's on an angle, and I've got scoliosis, and it's really, really causing an issue. So what this is here, um, I got this suggestion from one of my YouTube followers. These are mirror extensions, actually, I think. Yeah, I think they're left and right, so they're both different. So these will go in place of where the mirror is right now. And then they'll just kind of stick out a little bit. So if you can actually see, you know, it's a few inches, it's adjustable. But there's a few inches there. And this will just make the, the mirror kind of stick to the side farther. And that'll help see what's behind me. I'll see around my shoulders, whatever, arms, anything that's kind of blocking right now. Because if you drive a mobility scooter, you know the mirrors are useless as they are. Because when you look at them, you have to actually turn to see what's behind you, because all you can see is your shoulders. So, apparently that's an um, improvement on that situation. So I'm going to try that. And he got a pretty good price on his, but I just... I, I, he's in... I believe he's in the UK. And the UK price for these are a lot cheaper. I don't remember where these were made. Probably China, but I don't know. I don't remember. But I paid a little more. I think these were... I think they cost me 30 dollars $30 Canadian, if I remember correctly. But I don't. But that's what I'm thinking anyways. <laughs> so I'm going to be putting those on. And I haven't decided whether the two switches are going on this side, side by side, or one on each side yet. I haven't decided. But I want to put the switch on before I put the mirror extenders on because I want to make sure the extender or the switch isn't going to block the extender. So we'll just kind of see what happens with that I guess. So that's my project for today. Projects. <laughs> Nothing important just well I guess the the resistor is the only one that's important. That's my priority right now just to keep the monsters charging circuit from overheating. And other than that everything else I'm going to be doing is just modifications, improvements, little tweaks here and there. Yeah, we'll see what happens from there. So, let's get at it. Nope, it 
doesn't get too warm because those wires are kind of in the way there. But I am just kind of hoping it doesn't interfere with mounting the cover, but it doesn't look like it's going to, so. I'm going to be okay here. So what I'm going to do now, is before I put that in there, I tried to have everything ready, but you know, my projects tend to have little surprises with them that I'm not prepared for. This should be one of them. Well, you can see it, but you can see it. Hopefully, the light isn't reflecting off it too badly. So put this here, this here, get a spark. Wow. Well, that's kind of interesting. Five amp charger is only putting 3.83 amps out. Three point eight three, three point eight four. Okay, so that's without the resistor. with the resistor in line. Again, hopefully you can see not too much light blocking the way there. Charger's reacting, so it is making con. I'm getting point zero four amps now. Not what I expected. Not what I expected at all. Not for sure that would work, but 
<laughs> Unfortunately, it would take hours to charge it. I'm gonna have to try this again with ah, hello, my first mosquito bite of the year. So I'm gonna have to try this again with a lower resistance. Apparently, 100 ohms just ain't gonna work. So that kind of kills that idea. Let's connect the charger. I'm gonna have to try a lower lower resistance so that won't be done just yet Maybe a future project. 